So hey guys, I have been meaning to do an unboxing of a large uh, gift that I received from Kathleen Crafts. Um, she sent me a bunch of jewelry that she had purchased. I, I'm assuming, I think she told me it was uh, jewelry jars and such. And she asked me if I could do an unboxing of it after I received it and everything. So that's what I've been trying to, to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening bag by bag. I've got three bags here. And this is like, this is the smallest bag here. And I don't know if they're in any particular order or anything like that. I have been through them at one, at one point. But uh, this may just be things that I can take pieces and parts out of. So we'll look at this one first. And make sure we can see, see everything good. Trying out that little tripod there and seeing if that'll be a good setup for this. So in here, um, maybe this isn't part of that. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and look at this too though. Um, here are some, looks like snaps, maybe for button covers that snap on. And they have some tiger's eye in there and some bead work done. It looks like they're stitched on to, yeah, maybe a, a piece of leather or faux leather. I have a couple of these in here. This may have come out of a jar that I recently got that I didn't do a video on. So some more. And those can be turned into like maybe clip-on earrings or embellishments on necklaces, something like that, you know? Any kind of craft that you're doing. Some of these things you will see in some of my craft sales that I don't find uses for. We have a crystal encrusted um, apple here. It's a pendant. watch the time to see how long it takes me to do all this <laughs> there's an earring maybe there's a match I'm not sure this looks like a vintage little necklace here it's like a little piece of glass or crystal there that's engraved and has some rhinestones it's a little bit older maybe from the 70s these are very nice I think I did put this back to the side because it had things in it that were Real pretty for crafts, like I like these beads here. These are some really nice glass, and they're actually like cut glass. You can see those, and a beautiful blue and clear. These could be, um, these could be something like even Swarovski or something. I'm not sure, they're really nice. The necklace itself is broken, as you can see the closure on this part is missing, so I would actually take those off to repurpose and reuse. Funny little story about this earring. I own this earring personally. I had bought it years and years and years ago. I had the set and I sold the set in a jewelry sale that I had. This is the third set of these earrings that I have come across. Since I sold my original pair, I have found another pair and here is the third one. I'm not sure if there's even a whole pair to this one. But it's the exact same pair of earrings. There's another set of these snap-on button covers. These are pretty. Kind of a pe peppermint swirl, sort of. We have some possibly turquoise there. And it looks like a carved piece of jade. And let's see, the image is, it looks like a bird, maybe a rooster. Because that would be the Chinese zodiac. We got, that looks like a piece of ceramic. Let's see, did I slide this? I might have sl slid it a little bit. Yeah, ooh, a lot of seed beads coming out. We got some cat's eye glass beads in pink. Have some in white. These are some ceramic and possibly wooden. And then you've got some of the... Uh, wedding cake beads there that are nice. And this actually tested as sterling. It looks like a little sparrow or maybe a dove, that right there. So I'll take that apart and I've got a sterling closure on there that I can keep as well. We've got, these are actually freshwater pearls on here nice size pearls as well 
So those are really nice to keep and make jewelry with. Oh, this big applique here. Someone turned that into like a brooch that they could pin maybe on their dress. That's really cool. And there's some other loose components down in here, but we'll, um, that one's marked Trafari right there. Not sure if y'all will be able to see that, but it's marked Trafari there, but it's a little bit bent. Looks like another single earring. That's really pretty. Has some AB crystals and uh, I'm not sure. Dora Dana is signed there on the back. I'll put these away before they fall everywhere. There's some more really nice like wedding cake bead there. So I'll take that up to my craft, break it all down, divide it all up into little cases and such. These are some elements, a little horse pendant there and some cowboy boots, earrings that actually have little turquoise uh, on them. Uh oh, I'm way out of frame. There we go. So those, I need to test them and see if the boot is silver and I may just need to take them off of the backs that they're on and put them on some some hooks, sterling silver, so that I can wear those. I think those are cute. So we'll get that one put away and we'll pull out another one. I will probably just take the um, tiger's eye cabochons out of this. Get these seed beads up. They are everywhere. Here is a bag that was included in there too that if we wanna look at some stones, we can actually look at some stones as well. Let's get some more light going too. Why should I have that set up? Turn that on really quickly. shine some light over this way so we can see a little bit better. So, you know, she wire wrapped stones. I like to wire wrap stones. So this is some faux turquoise. You got blues and whites. These are rather large little nuggets too. And they are drilled. So these were on a necklace. So those can be strung or wire wrapped right there. It's a bag of those. She was so thoughtful to send me all this stuff. It was exciting to open this box. And this is a natural stone. Um, it's a little translucent when you hold it up to the light. I'm not sure what type of stone that is, but it's also drilled. So it's a bead that I can use. And then we have quite a few of these little geode, um, like Aurora sort of crystals. There you can see the little, I think some people refer to that as the little nug inside of it. So those are real pretty. They have kind of a peacock effect to those. There's quite a few in there. Those would be nice. Do some little dangles or something with those. We go. We've got some more beads in these bags. We've got some of the carved vintage scarabs. I found jewelry with these on it. I'm not sure what they're carved out of. They got the little hieroglyphics on the back, or maybe imitating hieroglyphics on the back. Seems to be some kind of maybe a sandstone or some kind of stone that's soft enough to carve out of. There's quite a few of those in here. And, oh, yeah, this one has hieroglyphics on it. This pendant here, Sterling, that she sent me. And I do like Egyptian stuff. I think she knows that. That's why she sent that to me. So sweet. 
these are some other pieces that may be turquoise. They really do look like they are real turquoise. Not saying they haven't been stabilized. This one looks like it could have been stabilized. And I'm looking to see, yep, they're drilled as well. And there's a few other little pieces of drilled turquoise beads in there and maybe a mixture of hematite. I mean, not hematite. Um, you know my brain's gonna forget right now, but the faux turquoise. We have these in there. Those are really pretty. These, I'm not sure what these would be either, but there's some kind of type of stone, maybe reconstituted stone beads. Those are really pretty. And we have some others, and these are marked matte African turquoise jasper tumbles right here. Let's take one of these out and see. So you got this one. This would be the matte African turquoise here. Real pretty. Let's see what else. Oh, I got a donut, a stone donut right there. Those are fun because you can put a bead in the center of those and then do wire wrapping. There's another one in here too. It's oval. That's really cool. So I got two, two of those. And there's some other ones of the matte turquoise and smaller pieces in there as well. Me and her both, we have plans to do some, some more craft with me videos and projects. So she shared some of this stuff with me. Maybe we'll have some of the same supplies to work with and see what ideas we come up with together. I know I sent her a kit during Christmas time for her to use. It's a similar kit to what I have and I have sold. And it's for um, bead weaving, which I haven't done before. And she's going to teach me how to do it. Okay, so we have a bag here that has some necklaces in there. These might be mainly necklaces. She did a good job of separating everything out into bags. Yeah, so we have this one, a little fashion necklace. Everything's in real good shape, too. Really nice shape. We have a, ooh, I like that. Can wear that for like the 4th of July or that's really pretty I like that this one kind of has a red white and blue thing going on in everything in it <laughs> that kind of has candy striping on it and you have someone um, wove beads together to make that bracelet but that's way too tiny for my wrist that won't fit me but some of these items like these go into my jewelry jars that I sell on Etsy. I just sold one today that I'm going to be packaging up in a little bit. I wanted to go through these items so I could include some of these items in my jewelry jar. Because I had just made one the other day and I was getting kind of low on some of the items that I was going to include. So this is like a double strand of acrylic, of triple strand of acrylic, black, tan, and clear. And we have some seed beads and glass beads on this really long double strand right here. So that's nice. Oh, there's a little thing with a faux opal. And it has little flowers and branches around it. That's really cute. Well, actually, that one has a little tag on it. Let's see. It doesn't say anything. It's just a little heart-shaped tag. Oh, wow. Very, very heavy glass stretch bracelet tons of those beautiful art glass beads that my daughter loves so i'll be able to deconstruct this and make many pairs of like earrings or necklaces 
other bracelets, even use them on some of my wind chimes. I'll be able to do a lot with just this one really pretty bracelet. That's cool. That's just too much <laughs> to wear on your wrist, I think. That'd be a little too heavy for me. Oh, this one's nice. Looks like there might be two pieces. Yeah, there's a bracelet like this. Well, it may be broken on the clasp there. That can go into some jewelry repair for the craft sales. And you have a nice little tassel, some gold tone, acrylic stone there. That's nice too. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, ooh, there's earrings in here. Yeah, really pretty, like chandelier style crystal, green crystals with AB coating. Like little bunches of grapes there. Those are nice. The backs, actually, these might be silver. I need to test the earring wires there. And you have that one. Really pretty green. I like that green. I don't know, I maybe would call that like a pea green or something. These is a necklace. These are acrylic. They're lighter in weight. They have a graduated like spinach swirl. If it was a little older with an older clasp, I would check it for like Bakelite, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's from Icing, which is very similar to Claire's. We have those here in our malls. And then you have this one. This one seems to be older than that one. Put that away. A lot to go through. Okay, there's one. This one reminds me a lot of uh, what's that one brand? Like maybe sold at Charming Charlie. Kind of reminds me of that. And these are really beautiful beads. And it has this triangular, looks hand hammered triangle on it. It's a long necklace. Just kind of an over your head, no clasp. We may have to do a part two. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. I love the colors in this one. It has a romantic vintage style to it. It's multi-strand. Let me get it the right way. There we go. And it's adjustable. Even has some seashells on there. Some faux pearls. Acrylic beads. But I love the pendant. The pendant's the most beautiful part of that. That's really nice. Things like this in there. Some cool parts and pieces off of this, unless it's intact, then I would probably put that in a jewelry jar. Nice statement here. This has weight to it. This is very well made. Very nice. That's pretty. Got like a heavy chain here in this one. Might not take everything out of the bag. This one. Um, there's a few different things in this one. Let's see. That's interesting. It's a collar style. I may have it twisted up a little bit. There we go. I lay that flat so you can see it like that. They're all prong set in there. I like that color scheme. That's really neat. 
And we have a ring in here. Let's check that out. Some of these things I don't think I did take out of the bag. <laughs> so some of it's going to be a surprise to me too. So we have a ring. It's just a base metal in silver tone. And you have like, you have some um, peacock feathers there with blue rhinestones. And then you have this kind of opaque, uh, milky, like a moonstone. I think it's what it's simul simulating is a moonstone in there. Not sure what size, but the bag does say it's an eight. I think it's more of a seven and a half. That's what that feels like usually I can get an eight almost on my finger, but I have an eight and a half finger and a nine on certain ones. These are just acrylic beads, but a nice, really well made stretch bracelet. Has a lot of stretch left in there. Put that back down in that bag. This is fun because I don't get jewelry jars the way I did before. I just dried up around here. I have to just purchase locally from people wanting to sell their jewelry or I have to go to estate sales. And very rarely do I find, I mean, I still have Salvation Army where I could sometimes find jars or I buy individual pieces. Now this is a set from Premier Designs. It does have the Premier Designs tag there. And you have cat's eye beads and pretty citrine colored glass beads, well constructed. That's very pretty. And I called it a set, but honestly, no, they just match very well. This one also has glass beads that are citrine colored, but it isn't a premier design. So just the bracelet. I've had some of these before. I had no idea what they were. I'd never seen them before until I, until I started thrifting jewelry. And they coil like little snakes and stuff. There's a couple of them there large graduated plastic bead on a like a velvety cord. Ah, we have an evil eye. See, this is a component that I would use in one of my sun catchers. We have this statement necklace. This looks brand new. It is signed. Um, I forget that designer, but I have seen it before but it's just like that on a copper colored chain. Let's see, we got some pearl jewelry in here. Pearl and abalone, like multiple layer chain there. This one has an interesting pendant on it with a bunch of crosses. And it's a double layer, so you have this cross there. That's really nicely made, the pendants. Signed SSD. I'll have to look into that. I've never seen that marking before. It's not sterling or anything. But yeah, that's cool. I like that. Now this one, I think, may be sterling and has real pearls. Oh yeah, this is a double bracelet. Oh wow, I love that. That's mine. <laughs> that one's gonna be mine. Yeah, it's got even a little seed pearl ball where it's encased another pearl there. And those are freshwater pearls on there and it is a sterling closure. So more than likely a sterling chain. I can check it with my magnet just to be real quick about it. Yeah not magnetic. That's very pretty. I'll set that one over here to the side. Love the treasure hunt. This is exciting. <laughs> oh, this, this color combination is really pretty. Kind of reminds me of carnelian on those and I like how they hang independently like that instead of connected all together. And you have that green with that kind of carnelian color. So that looks like a venturine to me. But these are um, acrylic cabochons, but this is a really well made piece. I like that. Let's see, get the 
the last little things out of this bag and then I can get all this out of the way. Very pretty beads. Oh, wow. On this one, I think these are going to be glass. Yeah, this is a vintage, I think. Yeah, with the hook closure. Usually they're marked Japan. But that one doesn't have the marking on it. But that looks vintage to me. It has real pretty crystal, green crystals there. that are AB coated. Really pretty. And there's a bracelet that fell out of here. Let me grab that. And a bead. Let's get that bead back in there. Gold tone has these little coins. It's pretty and dainty. I have a sticker or something under my nail. Yeah, that's pretty. And there's also a loose pair of earrings down in there too, like that, with rhinestones. Put that one back up there. I love those green crystals, wow. I'm not too much, and then you've got some moon glow lucite beads on there as well. I'm just not a big fan of the splatter beads, but I love the crystals on it. That one, I, I see, I can put that one on Etsy. Let's get these out of the way, and I have one more large bag, and that's it. Besides, I think a couple of things that she sent to me personally, I've already put away. work ahead of me with a few of those things to take them apart. All right. Ooh, this one's very heavy. I caught the casting too much of a shadow. Let's see. Hopefully not. Not too bad. So you have like a little pill box, I guess. Yep. Pill box. Real pretty enamel, AB crystals inset in there. You got a faux pearl, looks like a brass, I guess. That's cute. I think I saw something else like that. Nope. Nope. This is it. Here's a belt. It's a southwestern style belt. Very heavy. Taiwan, so that's probably from the 80s, and it has an L on there. But you kind of have sort of almost like poncho style in there, and I've got it twisted. Real nice belt, though. This belt is in good enough condition for me to list that one on Etsy. So I could put that belt on Etsy. Um, we have just a rhinestone, pink and clear. It there. This one is it's a more modern cream colored glass pearls with some other little accent beads on there. Got a next got another belt. So, oh no, it's a necklace. And it's it's got some weight to it, not too too heavy. But those are cool rings. On there. I think that's neat. I got a little twisted. Okay, there's a couple of things in this bag. Ooh. Get that unhooked. Let's see. Michael Golan, or yeah, I think that's what it says. Um, here we go. And it's also signed on the back. It has a cartouche. Very beautiful rhinestone there. Some lovely beads. And I think that's brass probably as well. This little dainty blackened metal with blue. This one here that's beaded. 
this one a cameo and judging by the back of it I think this is a 1928 yes it has the tag 1928 so that's pretty and this one's marked LC for Liz Claiborne so when I put designer pieces in my jars I usually use things like Liz Claiborne um, 1928 would be one that I put in there as well. A couple of other brands, um, just depends. And I do put a piece of silver, sterling silver in there. Oh, this is nice. A little bow bracelet. It's got a um, safety catch there. There is some writing. Oh, it's Kate Spade. That one says Kate Spade. It's written down in the inside there. Now, I don't know if they do, you know, imitations or anything of them, but that's still pretty. That's cute. That'd be more something for Poshmark, probably, or eBay. Not signed, but that's really cool. That's like punk chic. <laughs> Kind of that rock style, those crystals are just shining. They're so pretty. And then those little studs, spikes there at the bottom. Yeah, that's nice, I like that. It's not something I necessarily wear, but it's something that I get excited to look at. <laughs> I have things that I just would look at, but then there's things that I would wear. These are probably some more components for me to craft with. Um, this one has some nice glass beads. This might also be some crafting material here. I like to take, it has a cool little key and other elements on there. There's another necklace. The chain, I would take the chain and keep that for a, a vintage pendant that I needed because these are like the vintage style chains that you would find. Then you have a little bracelet here and this one does, it has some art glass some other little beads and some little shoes, some little heels. Yeah, these, oh, that's cool. Very masculine stainless steel cross there with some uh, CZ accents on there. And it is marked stainless steel CN on the back. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that on the bail. But yeah, I can list that for a masculine man's necklace. And then there's this necklace, which I'd like to see that component on one of my, my um, sun catchers. I like that. Not necessarily as a necklace, but as a component on one of those. There's a dainty little bow necklace in there. This is another one I think is some craft material. Just a large pendant that I could use and maybe possibly some of the beads on there. Ooh. And maybe this is a keychain ring or something. Wow. Put this on my keychain. Yeah. We've got that little locking mechanisms. Well made. Oh, it's J. Crew. Okay, I know what this is. This is for your multi strands. I think that's what that's going to be for. You're going to, to shorten it, you would use that as an adapter and put that on there. And it's got J. Crew written right on the inside there. So I like that. I like J. Crew. That was one of the brands I was thinking about with that spiky necklace. Keep that to the side for myself. I might use that. Um, this is a Leah Sophia with a pair of earrings in there as well. Some earth tone color glass components on it. A few pairs of earrings in here. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, well, those have pretty rhinestones dangling from those. I like that. Let's see what this is. This one has a hang tag not sterling but it's nine west and a very pretty CZ it's 
solitaire right there. That's really pretty. That's a nice one. That would be something that I could see either on Poshmark or I would include as like a, you know, a nice item in my jars. This one looks like it's replicating like Art Deco. Yeah, I think this is a replica piece of Art Deco because you have those elements there. But one giveaway is how thin and stamped out the components are. They would have been made heavier and in a different way. But they did a really nice job of giving it that design and that aesthetic. And then you have your hook and eye closure. I think, no, your box clasp, your older box clasp. Right there, that's pretty. You have a little necklace here. That may be sterling as well. You have an M on it and you have a little awful tower, a little bead. And I do see that the closure looks like it could be sterling, so that'd be something to test as well. Let me set that to the side. This would definitely be a belt again, I think, yeah. Has a tag, just says China on there. But that one's still in really good condition to wear as a belt. And we have a clay made Texas star with the bull. Someone either made the bell out of beads. Bracelet, we've got a pretty rhinestone adjustable ring in there. That's cool. This one's a nice one to take a look at. Nice weight to that one, nice heavy, large clasp on it. And those are just so pretty. Those rhinestones are so pretty. I like the bezel setting on them and that's kind of a rose gold color. bead stretch bracelet there. These are little bar earrings that dangle from little round, uh, round balls with bars that dangle. Those, I'm going to test those for silver. And then we have this one that says 1970 Aldo Sapulo. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Gold electro plate but it has the faux screws, like, um, I forget what that large name designer is that does those, and apparently it would have had a screw there that holds it closed, but it's missing. But still very cool, but so dainty and like, if you see the markings on the inside, it, it would not fit my wrist, not at all. <laughs> we have some more. These have got the large hooks on them. Let's see, Here's a statement necklace here. Rhinestones in the center, dangle chains down below. It is adjustable. bunch of earrings in here oh I, these are even <laughs> these are made out of ribbon with some little delicate chain hanging in the middle I guess re replicating kind of flowers I would think oh yeah Ooh, look at those I like these those are pretty pretty glass beads there Let's see if I can find both pairs of those I will wear those My goodness. Oh, those are pretty. That one's very similar, but it has more of a citrine color. I hope it's not just singles. Hopefully I can find the other ones because those, I love those. See, that's what I'm aiming for with some of the designs that I do with my wire wrapping. Yep, I have a pair. Woohoo! 
I have a pair of those. Let's see if I have a pair of the other ones. Yes, they're in here too. That's my birthstone. That citrine, which are, these are, you know, just glass, but I love that color. So those two pair are for me. <laughs> these look like these might be sterling. And you may even have a real gemstone bead on there. I'll have to check that out. Ooh, these have ABs. Those are real pretty. Nothing screaming like super vintage in here, but they're all nice. We have some pretty art glass. Ooh, these might be on sterling. I think they are. I think these are on sterling here. My daughter will like these. That's her thing. The art glass beads. I'll set those for, for her to the side. Those are pretty. They have a red rhinestone and then a prong set rhinestone in the front. Got a little Valentine's heart there. These also have, I can tell someone took some vintage pieces like the uh, fetish bird there and there's some adventurine. Looks like still sil silver um, beads there as well. But then the, the ear hook doesn't look to be silver. But that's still cute, I like that. And I do like the components of it. If it's just a single earring, I would keep that because that's mother of pearl that the the bird is carved out of. Just trying to glance through here and see. Those might be sterling. So there's some few, yeah, there's a pair of that, of the bird with the gemstone beads. We got some glass pearls like this in there. Yeah, there are lots of earrings in here to go through. So that's really cool. I probably wear more earrings than I do anything. I like rings and earrings the best, and then it'd be necklaces. And then bracelets, probably, after that. This one is Avon. Let's see Avon on there. If I can get the camera. There we go. So that's a nice gold tone. Avon is very smooth and silky. It's a bracelet. This one has nice glass components. If it's in good shape, I won't break it down. But if there's anything wrong with it, I take off the crystal beads and I use those or sell those for other jewelry makers. Okay, we have a, have a waterfall sort of thing going on here. Love those. It's in good shape, so I won't take that apart. These... This one's kind of a longer one. There's honestly nothing wrong with that, but I love this for wind chimes. So they, this one probably will become dangles for a wind chime. They have a nice size eight, it says, and this is like a, probably like a replica of a uh, Native American squash blossom with some green they may be glass there. Now this one fits more like an eight where it's almost all the way on, but it's still a very pretty ring there. It's not marked anything, is it? It's stamped 925. Let's see if it's magnetic. Oh, well, it's stamped 925. I may want to test it. It just, to me, doesn't look like it would be. I don't know what it is. It's something about the inside of it tell, tells me I should be suspicious. But it's not magnetic, so yeah, I'll set that one to the side to do an acid test on that. Got a little component there. I think that's a toggle. I got some loose chain and other components like these little bars there with uh, rhinestones oh that's pretty it's got an abalone inlay I think that looks like 1928 there 
brooch and then there's another little necklace down in there that has faux turquoise another bag of earrings mixed earrings which I may have to look at some of them they may be silver as well like that one in particular could be these little small hoops I'll look through those and see. Pierced, vintage, of the 80s. Oh, there's just some of that multi strand gold tone chain. There's that part of that closure. There's some necklaces in here. Let's see what's in here. I see some sparkly stuff jumping out at me. <laughs> that's a pretty blue rhinestone is that it doesn't actually adjust but it looks like it would Ooh, it's tangled up here's another pretty CZ set in a square bezel set let's look at some of the tags we've got Express we have this little crown I don't know what that stands for. oh wait a minute here we go Juicy Couture. Okay, so one of these is Juicy Couture that's in here. Maybe it's the Hamza. It looks like the Hamza is part of it, but I'm betting that's not the only thing on that one particular. And then we have M and M or M for M. That's a new one to me too. M for M. I don't know that one. And you have this little enameled flip flop. So yeah, I'll have to tangle, detangle that, but that's cool. Then we have another large statement necklace here, and we're almost at the end of that bag. Oops. Wow, these are independent as well, the way they dangle. Which to me, like I said, is different because a lot of times these are all linked together somehow. But it's got a very heavy chain on it big and bold there on that piece no signature on that one but it is adjustable and those are acrylic pieces and then we have this cool heart here it's not a locket and it has the toggle in the front on that blackened metal and so I think that means like you take, oh, okay. No, it's faux, that's false. It's just made to look like it toggles in the front. That's false, it doesn't move, it doesn't come off. Uh, that is definitely not the bag that came out of because it's not big enough. Put that one to the side. I think that ring came out of that one. And you have this one here, it's like an acrylic. That one, the chain's a little worse for wear, so this will be a crafting component. Oh, here's another pair of those. If, if that's the card that they came on, they are made by Influence, it says. Maybe a $5 regular price on those, but I like these. So, I actually have a pair to sell and a pair to keep. Excuse me, I like that. I think we have another sterling here. Look at that close up too. That's well, that's kind of on the small side. I don't know that that would fit my wrist. We got Mylor. Okay, so this is a Mylor Italy sterling bracelet. You've got the markings right there. And then it says Mylor over there if the camera's focusing so that's pretty those chains are nice they do pick up a lot of sparkle we'll have to find a tiny tiny person that needs a bracelet <laughs> there's another statement necklace let's see we've got some jumbo size beads in here that are cool looking All right, so we got copper and brass and silver tone metal woven cuff bracelet there. This is what I was talking about. Look at that. So you know, these are fun. 
for the sun catchers and stuff too because it's a bead and I can just run a wire and stuff through there. I've got a stone carved, maybe an agate. Yeah, it looks like an agate cross there. And it's already wire wrapped and everything. That might be sterling wire too, the way it's tarnishing. Also has a beautiful stone pendant here clipped onto it, which that one is, you can take it off and put it on other things. There's two of those, so those would be good to turn into a pair of earrings. Since you got two of them, you just turn them into a pair of earrings. And some other loose beads in here, like those, which they're glass. Those are glass. Oh, wow. Those are nice. These nice big large caps, those are fun. To put on those clear glass beads. And then I have a little locket necklace in here too. Oh wow. Oh nice. This is a locket with a, um, a cameo. Oh wow, that's so pretty. And it's in that vintage style, so this would be something similar to 1928. This one's made by Ann Copelick Designs, it says. Another one that I have not heard before, I'm not familiar with, but that is so pretty. So, so pretty. I like that. Put that in this bag over here, separate from those beads. So I have to divide out craft and sellable jewelry. And let's see. Last one here. I've seen this mark before too, and I never can remember the name of it. It's that V. But you've got a multiple, well, maybe you got two. I'm not sure. You might have two necklaces here. Yeah, I think you got two. I think this is on its own with a purple cat's eye. Then you got some pink quartz there that I think goes along with this on a maybe a double strand yeah and so one of them is marked charming charlie and the other one's marked with that little v there i believe it's a v but i remember in one of the groups that are on facebook they discussed the designer of that one and i just i can't remember but yeah i gotta get those untangled from each other and that looks like that is the end of that huge, huge haul. Thank you so much, Kathleen, when you watch this video. I want you to know how much fun that was to go through, how beautiful this stuff was. I'm so grateful for all the things that you sent me. There, There's some silver in there. There's so many things in there. I appreciate you so much, and I can't wait till you're feeling better and we can craft again together. So bye guys, I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.